Hi Suzanne here with another music theory video. Uh, we've been talking lately about writing music for four part harmony which is four people to sing and in a previous video we talked about something called a perfect cadence and a perfect cadence is, or the cadence is just a combination of two chords or a progression of two chords and certain chords are called certain names. The perfect cadence was chords five and one. Today we're talking about plagal cadences, which is chord four and one, or uh, the subdominant going to the tonic. Um, like the perfect cadence, it is a very final sounding chord. So you want to save it for the end of a piece of music, um, so because in the middle it sounds like you're finished when you actually want to keep going. So the example that we're doing today is if you get a question in an exam saying write a plagal cadence in a particular key, later when we're talking about writing four part harmony to a given melody, this may change according to the melody that you're given. So today's just an isolated example of a plagal cadence. Chord four followed by chord one. So first of all, we're just going to have a look in the key of C. Then we'll do one in a minor key, um, just to see if there's any difference here. So chord of C major, we want the fourth note, C, D, E, F. We do F triad, and then we're doubling the F because we need four notes. I just like writing it out like this because I can see where everything's going. Going to chord one, going to C, E, G, again doubling the root note to get to C. Okay, so C major, no sharps or flats in the key signature, so we've done that. So the bass must sing the root note of the chord, it doesn't have a choice. So we're going to have F followed by C. We'll do a low F so that it gives us room to do more up there if we need it. So F followed by C. The second thing we're going to look at is the common note in a chord staying in the same voice. If you keep the notes close together, it gives us a nice smooth progression to a cadence. So chord, um, note C and note C, I think we'll put those up in a soprano. So again, with any of the remaining, remaining notes, you can do them in any order that you want to. They don't have to be in this order. So you can place them wherever you want to to try and get nicely spaced chords and a smooth progression. So C and C. Then the remaining notes, we want to fall to their closest note. So we're going to put in an A, which we'll put up in the tenor. So A's closest note it can fall to is G. And then we have F, we'll do that in the alto, falling to an E. So F going to E. So if you follow these suggestions, you won't end up breaking any rules. Rules we'll talk about more when we do the um, harmony to a given melody. So, but if you do this, you won't get into any consecutives or anything like that. Okay, so let's have a look at this in A minor. Chord four, going to chord one. So A minor, chord four, A, B, C, D, build on the D note. We do a D triad. We're going to double the D, going to chord one, which is A, C, E, double the A. Okay, so the bass has to take the root note of the chord. We have to do the D here, we have no choice. And we'll go down to A to give us some room up here. Second thing is the common note stays in the same voice. A common note is A. How about we put that in the tenor? We can always change it later if it's not working out well. And then the remaining, remaining notes falling. So F, we'll put an F up here. Its closest note to fall to is E. 
and lift over and up, we go up to the soprano, D or four to C. So um, we have a bit of a gap here. We could possibly change this around to make that gap a little bit smaller, but I don't mind that gap being there. The others are fairly evenly spaced. This is all fairly evenly spaced. Um, again, we're looking for smooth progressions. I'm not having the notes bunched up too closely together in the voices. And um, because in the minor key, we don't have anything with um, the leading note in it. So the leading note in A minor would be G. There's nothing with the G there. So we don't have to worry about any accidentals in the plagal cadence. So if you'd like to see more of these videos and there'll be more coming up later with other cadences and four part harmony, just subscribe so you don't miss out on anything.